This is uh, part five. I'm going to show you how I completed the building and I'll show you what videos to go to to see certain parts of the project. So here we go. So I'm putting the corner in and I got to go up seven high. So as I'm laying my block, way down there, I put my other dog, one of these things, make sure these blocks are going to be right in line. And when I fill that big hole in, everything will be straight. You've got to do long, long corners. You have to get yourself a straight board, level up like that. Because if you don't, on a four foot level, it's going to go up. That, that's a sure thing. So I get myself a real straight board. I keep checking it. Make sure I'm level and measuring across. Now we have a, a nail here and what we do is we measure down from the nail and the guy with the transit is going to tell me where I'm at. And then all I do is measure from the nail to the top of the building. That's how I know I'm level. And that nail we're measuring up right there, 92 I'm right on. So we're building this wall way down there. Let's see if I can get it down there. I tooted those blocks out because I gotta go higher. So same thing over here. See I got we're gonna go three block higher, so what am I gonna do here? I'm not gonna have to lay another course all the way up. I'm just gonna toot it out. I'm gonna show you what I do. So to toot it out. Get a couple pieces of wood like this, and then I'm gonna get this side uh, like that. Get a piece of wood in here. I'm gonna take this block. that in place now we just put another block on top of that in this case a corner block just like that when that dries I take that wood out now after they dry I just put out the wooden plugs that's it, that's it. That's tooth it out. So now I just slide my other block right in. It's one of those toothed block out. So now we gotta sneak another block in there. I could use that for a lead then. Like that. what's going on this is the middle of the wall this wall is like 45 feet long anytime you put a, a line up it's gonna sag so I got a little thing here we call it a twiggin you hook the line in it you raise it up so the first thing we're gonna do all right right to the nail I have a nail down there a level mark and I'm about a quarter inch low so I'm gonna raise my spotter up here Right like this. Put it down like that. There we go. Okay, 28. I gotta go down a little bit. Hold it again. Okay, right there. And then I'm lined up with my line. I put this little twig in up here. Like that. That's going to hold that line up to my height. 
so I know I'm completely level all the way across. Now here's what's going on. We've got to lay a four inch cap on top of the wall. One of the biggest reasons are because we need uh, 20 inches ceiling so they can get the garage door in. So we got to come up an extra four inches. So we're using a four inch cap. Going against it like this. Down to the line. like that. I got my dollar store level I bought for a dollar. Works dandy. Here's what's going on. This is where our rods are going. Right there. And I got this tied with some uh, rebar. Right there. So now I gotta fill this right up Cement. Now, we filled this up solid. There's my rod, it connects to there. My other, uh, put my other stone, another one against it. There's my anchor bolt, and the carpenter wants it up uh, two and a half inches for his plate. There I am, that's it. I'm not showing you how to put the rods in this way, bond beams, because all these areas like California, earthquakes, there's a whole different, uh, it's a whole different world. That's why you have to go with different codes in this or different areas. Around here, everything sinks into the mines. But that's basically how I would put an anchor bolt in. Okay, so we're finishing up with the top of the wall. You can see how it goes over there also. Right there's a pilaster, that thing right there. I know a whole different video on pilasters and, and buttresses, so look for that. That's the top of the wall. Now I just want to show you how I went over the top of those lentils right there. And the block work all matched up at the end. So you can see what, what I'm talking about adjusting. And the same thing here, when I went over the top of my steel lentils, all my block work matched up to where I wanted it to. See, it's a foresight. You got to plan way ahead.